Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make chicken cordon bleu. I know I say everything is my favorite, but this truly yeah. is one of my favorite dishes. It's such comfort food. This recipe was requested by Daisy Advenkula. We hope you like this video. And what's not to love? There's cheese wrapped up in ham that's all wrapped up in chicken. To start, we're going to brine the chicken breasts so they're extra juicy. Take a saucepan and add two cups of water, two tablespoons of kosher salt, and two tablespoons of sugar. Heat this on medium-high heat and whisk everything together until the sugar and salt have dissolved. Set this aside in the fridge to let it cool down for about 20 minutes. Once it's cooled down, we're going to add two chicken breasts. Try to get chicken breasts that weigh about 8 to 10 ounces each. Let them sit in the brine mixture for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes of brining, remove it from the brine, rinse with cold water, and pat them dry with some paper towels. Now we're going to mix together our seasoning. In a small bowl, add a half teaspoon ground black pepper, one tablespoon garlic powder, and one tablespoon of onion powder. Mix these together until well combined and set it aside. We are going to butterfly our boneless, skinless chicken breasts. This will allow our chicken to cook more evenly and quicker. Take a large knife and place your hand flat against the chicken. Make sure your fingers are well out of the way. Start at the thick portion and cut towards the back. Stopping about a half inch from the back of the piece of meat. Now you can peel it back. Once it's open, you can cut a little more to make it approximately the same thickness throughout. We're going to pound the chicken breasts into our desired thickness of 1 4th inch. Take two pieces of parchment paper and fold each piece into half. Place the chicken breast in the center of the parchment paper. Cover it and turn the crease side towards you. Now, taking a mallet, pound out the piece of chicken until it is 1 4th of an inch thick. This is the perfect activity after a busy and stressful day. Now, take your seasoning mixture from earlier. Sprinkle it evenly over the two chicken breasts. Brush each breast with a thin layer of smooth Dijon mustard, about one and a half teaspoons each. Place a layer of black forest ham, then Swiss cheese. Leave about an inch of space from the top so that the chicken breast can fully encase the ham and cheese when rolled. Repeat again with another layer of black forest ham and Swiss cheese. Now we're going to roll it together. Using our fingers, tuck in the edge. Pull back on the edge to make it tight. Now, evenly roll it up. Set this aside, seam side down. Repeat with the other chicken breast. Take out a long sheet of plastic wrap. It's important to get a long piece because of the tension we're going to apply during the rolling process. Lay the chicken breast, flat seam side down, close to the edge of the plastic wrap. Fold the plastic wrap over and tuck it back with your fingers, making sure to keep the seam together. Now, just roll it up evenly in the plastic wrap and cinch down the sides. Use your fingers to flatten it out. Now we're going to cinch up the cordon bleu. To do that, we're going to use a counter twisting motion. Twist one hand one way and the other hand the other way while holding onto the plastic wrap. You'll notice the plastic wrap will become tighter and that the cordon bleu will cinch in on itself. Now we're going to form it using downward pressure. Grab the ends of the plastic wrap and apply pressure using your thumbs both downward while pulling out. This will allow you to do a couple of quick motions of rolling the cordon bleu forward. Tie off one end Cinch down the other end to make sure you have enough tension and tie it up.
we're going to let this chill in the fridge to set for 30 minutes to one hour. We've let these set for one hour. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to prepare the breading. Take three separate dishes. In one dish, combine a half cup of flour and a fourth teaspoon of paprika. In another dish, whisk two eggs and two tablespoons of water. In the third dish, combine one cup of panko, three tablespoons of finely chopped fresh parsley, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Remove the plastic wrap from the chicken carefully. Dredge all sides in the flour, shaking off any excess. Then dip into the egg mixture. Finally, cover all over with the breadcrumb mixture, patting with your fingers to adhere. Transfer to a plate and repeat with the remaining chicken. In a large skillet, heat 1 4th cup of cooking oil. We're using coconut oil over medium-high heat until it begins to shimmer. Place the chicken into the pan and cook all sides until browned about two to three minutes per side. Transfer to a wire rack, set over a ribbed baking sheet to drain and bake. We're going to bake these in our 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 to 45 minutes or until a thermometer inserted into the thickest part of the chicken registers 165 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. And there it is. Chicken cordon bleu. Serve with whatever sides you prefer, like roasted Brussels sprouts. Asarasa. Mmm. Mm. This is so cheesy. Oh, it reminds me of my childhood. Thank you all so much for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this chicken cordon bleu. Send us pictures of your creations on Facebook and Instagram. The links are below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. Maraming salamat!